can almost hear the airplane noises, right? Well, not really. I don't have an engine. As you know, this kit was purchased by a friend who started building and then decided that the RV10 wasn't right for him. So I spent the whole day today going through pretty much everything he'd done up to this point, um, confirming use of the right nuts and the right bolts and the right torque specs and the right just alignments on everything. We found one little problem with the horizontal stabilizers. I'll film a video on that, or I'm sorry, the elevators. I'll film a video on that in a second. I also found there's two service bulletins. I'll show you more on it in a second, but for right now, I'm gonna have to replace this uh, rudder control horn. There's a service bulletin, or the rudder stop, I guess I should say. There's a service bulletin on that, so I'm gonna replace that. But basically, we just wanted to check. He had gotten to this stage, um, didn't build the fuel tanks because I think he knew he was getting rid of the airplane and the fuel tanks are the part that no one wants to build. So I still have to rivet the top skin on the left wing, do the left fuel tank, do the right fuel tank, and then the fuselage will be coming soon. Um, but anyways, it's starting to look like an airplane. We got the, we double checked all his alignment on his bolts, they're perfect. I'll show a picture. We did the string test to check that the, Horizontal stabilizer is correct from left to right. We checked ground clearances up and down. We checked that the vertical stabilizer is vertical and there you go. It looks uh, looks like a real airplane. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this all apart again and put it all into storage and then show you the uh, little issue, the service bulletin on the elevator and the little issue that I found on the elevator that I'm gonna send to Vans tomorrow to get their thoughts on. All right, so here seems to be the challenge. Now, don't judge me on this. I know this is not the control link, the whole tube. I just put a link in here because I noticed um, these are not lined up. So if you look here, this hole is maybe two thirds of the way down to the lightning, to the lightning hole. And then this one is about halfway, maybe five eighths, probably about halfway. Now that's not the problem because as per the instructions, again, remember I bought this kit already, this step was already done. So as per the instructions, you're supposed to line up the uh, horizontal stabilizers on both ends and then drill through here. You're supposed to create like a whole jig. So you drill one side, create like a piece of wood with a hole in it and then drill the other. That way the, the drill bit goes through straight. The challenge is I'm going to bring pictures up when um, when one side is clamped down, which it's not right now, but you'll see in the pictures. When one side is clamped down, the other side is off by about a 16th to a 32nd, maybe a 32nd to a 16th, maybe an eighth of an inch on that side. So I'm going to send those to Vans and by the time I hear back from Vans, I'll have an update for you in the video. So I spoke to Vans and here's what they had to say about this. A quarter of an inch, half an inch, that's good. I was a little surprised to hear that. They basically said, almost no one gets this right. I spoke to a couple of other builders and they basically said the same thing. Um, if I was planning on entering this in a competition, which I'm not, they said, then you're gonna wanna fix that and get it right. So the fix according to Vans is you weld in one of the holes, so you've got to grind down that epoxy-based white, like powder-coated paint, have a welder come out, they'll weld in the hole, grind it smooth again, re-epoxy coat it, powder coat it, uh, two-part epoxy paint, whatever, and then re-drill the hole. My guess is the previous builder didn't have both sides clamped down properly when he drilled it or he didn't follow the instructions and build some kind of a jig to drill it straight and drilled it at a little bit of an angle. Either way, according to Vans and according to other builders, this is not that big of a deal. It will not affect flight. And also, you won't ever really notice it because one, there's a rudder in the way and two, you're not really ever going to be standing on the same side of the plane. So, I'm kind of a perfectionist and I might want to fix this. I might want to do the weld technique, 
But for right now, it's two, three, probably four years away from me permanently mounting the horizontal stabilizer to the plane. And I think I'll make that decision when I get a little closer there. But of course, I'd love to hear your comments. Let me know what you would do. If you're a builder, uh, let me know what you would do or let me know if you think this really affects it. Let me know what your experience has been. So now let's talk about the elevator stop service bulletin. This one is pretty important because as you can see in this picture here, it's barely making contact. The control horns are barely making contact with the elevator stop. And the issue is if you pulled really hard or over a period of time, potentially it could work itself to the other side of that elevator stop and then you would be stuck. You'd have an elevator stuck. My brain's not working. It's early in the morning. I think you'd have an elevator stuck in the up position. Either way, it's bad. Um, so what's supposed to happen is you see that kind of 90 degree bend right there, that more perpendicular part. It's supposed to hit against that. And I think you'd have to recheck the service bulletin, but I think they want like at least a quarter inch or half an inch of clearance there where I'm barely getting like a 16th of an inch. So there is supposed to be a fix for this. Um, he described the fix to me a little bit. I didn't worry about it too much in detail because he said it's something we'll fix later. You'll just either add some bar stock there, some aluminum stock or some washers, uh, lift the, the elevator stop a little higher. I was like, whatever, it's, I'm not going to deal with it until I get to the point of permanently mounting and I'm going to forget by then. But it's in my instructions. It's noted that this needs to be addressed later. So we'll address that later. If any of you, again, have run into this problem and know exactly what the fix is or can comment or send me some pictures on how you fixed it or point me to your blog on how you fixed it, if you had this issue, I'd greatly appreciate that to put in my documents for later. Uh, thanks again, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The next video is me finishing up the wings, well, kind of finishing up the wings, up into the point where I stop because the top skins can't be done until I have some electronics and the fuel tanks and the wing tips.